Hi, upgrading your computer to Windows 10 has been made really easy thanks to the Microsoft Update tool. Now, if you did not update your Windows 7 or 8.1 up to the max, meaning you did not get all the updates and you don't have this little white thing saying you can update to Windows 10, then you can still start the upgrade to Windows 10 even though you did not install all the updates. You need to be genuine. You need to be activated and you must know that the system that you're doing it on is a genuine system. If that all is fixed, go on the internet. As you will see in the video, we're gonna jump into the computer, go, in, go on the internet, get the file you need. We're gonna do it on a very, very old laptop, the Dell 6000, the Inspiron, very popular laptop here on YouTube, has a video about unlocking it and how we got it. The thing looked really bad. It was a piece of junk and now it's gonna run Windows 10. Okay, so that's what we're gonna, that is our victim today. And uh, it has a legal window, so we will be able to upgrade it fully legally to Windows 10 and we're gonna do it with the upgrade tool. So let's not talk too much. Let's jump into the computer. One more thing you must know, that I have the maximum amount of RAM in this thing. All right, so let's go for it. And it okay, came in my studio this is and uh, it even got a it's legal window. It uh, got a paint job. And you it's see that? Really it's a kind of, yeah, old see, laptop. Got it runs uh, Mac OS X as well, <laughs> well but now it's it can it's run Mac OS X 10.5.8. Really cool. You can, you can see even it. update This it. is a genuine system. But then again, these are the specifications. Two gigabytes of RAM. I already told license. you. This if you want to install Windows 10, make sure you have the maximum amount of RAM in this old machine. This thing has a rating of 1.1 Windows experience. You see that? This, this is like. Uh, uh. Are too low. So what we're gonna do? This thing is not even well, updated. Windows 7 is installed. See. It's Let's been uh, activated. First. It probably gets so some updates. You know, but not even a lot. I think not even one. Because I didn't have time for that. So. So uh, here we're gonna go ahead and download a complete update. the 32 bit not, update you can also go to the Microsoft to Windows website 10 app the download Windows 10 and I showed this in a previous video uh, before but I did not actually show it download I only spoke it, about megabyte. it and uh, it's 17 well, megabytes do here you can see it 32 bit and 64 bit <clears throat> the 17 and megabyte uh, this download machine uh, will uh, already showed uh, be a video we're and it's running fact, Windows it 10. First it's go called ahead Windows 10 installed on a one dollar laptop. And why it's one dollar laptop? Has, These Inspiron 6000s were sold in the United States, uh, 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 you know, drive. in so dumps uh, for one dollar each. Uh, and uh, some of my to, friends that you know, also got them the download, uh, got them with a lock, installing. and they had to unlock them themselves. So I unlocked it for them, so they could like use it. And now, back it to the desktop, you know, we're gonna install you know, Windows 10 on this baby. Then I will need a serial mm -hmm. number. Then again, I don't even know what serial number I okay. should you know, insert. Okay, there we go. We're installing. At a certain point, if uh, the file is downloaded and everything is unpacked, might take like one hour on this machine. <laughs> this machine is really, really slow. But then you will be in the installer. And now we're upgrading. To Windows 10 so we're gonna let this procedure go and if this is done I'm gonna get back to you okay that went pretty good we're now in the part where we can um, select our privacy settings also got to make a video about that because some people were um, asking me to do that to show the right settings to create a local account we've created a local account here this is the blue the blue book or so blue blue <laughs> I forgot what I called it but it's a very nice old Dell <clears throat> so let's go ahead and reboot her this is the a straight up boot up after the install when everything is you know done and set and all drivers are installed so this is like a real-time boot 
and you can see that the bias is loading really slow in a way and now it's gonna boot it's booting Windows 10 build 10,240 so this will just this is a straight boot up so you have an idea how long it will take to boot up with a 2 gigabyte uh, memory in the machine the Dell Inspiron the 6000 and uh, well there we go black screen of waiting as usual and then boom Windows is resuming so in fact this was a wake up I think sleep also works so the machine can go to sleep and uh, yeah of course and this is the beautiful lock screen fantastic I really like uh, the new lock screens they look good so little thumbs up there for Microsoft this is the blue top there you can see it and probably I called it blue top because I also painted this machine <laughs> and it looks good there you see everything is running and up all drivers uh, were installed uh, I think it used the Windows 7 drivers and then I did and did something with that I think I'm not even sure but here you can see uh, I'm activated in fact after I connected to the internet it was immediately activated so that also means that you know your windows was was cool and legal just the way how it should be and uh, Microsoft is rewarding all these people you know all these people got a free update to Windows 10 and I'm having a telephone here I'll be right back okay there welcome back well we're taking a look at the desktop and uh, well you could see that uh, this machine uh, is activated um, what can I say how is the experience well if you're used to you know old laptops and you know how to handle them then you will find that this machine is running really really nice as I said you might want to do some little thingies like go into the system settings you know and set the advanced system settings to um, by the way here we can go back to Windows 7 I'm just showing you that if this machine wants to go back to the legal Windows 7 it's just a hit on the bottom and it will straight go back to Windows 7 and you will have your old Windows 7 back I think that is by the way the best uh, for this for this machine although I'm not even sure because technology is going really fast and we have all these operating systems also in Linux coming out these days and uh, soon <laughs> there might even be a kind of Linux that will look like Windows 10 because the Linux community is well not so happy with uh, the word free in Windows 10 because they find it's not really free but uh, we're going to talk about that in another video but uh, I think it was really nice that all the testers you know got the version completely free two days before it would happen it was in the news and I reacted to that and well I was already a tester I did not react but I even installed uh, a Mac a day after uh, Windows closed the activating and well it, it was unbelievable you know the machine got activated and it's running and up and at this moment you know I got two Macs running Windows 10 fully genuine activated by Microsoft so yeah the white screen that we're looking at here is not so fantastic in some way my cam is pff, it's not really making the screen good so we don't have to look at this all I don't have to show too much more in my words uh, you will understand that this is possible uh, on the Inspiron 6000 and uh, thumbs up there for Microsoft that they you know made it possible for these old processors Celeron I mean like Celeron but still you see Intel is proud of their processor and so can Mac users be uh, that also have a Mac running on an Intel processor so you guys there you know if it was up to up to Apple and if they use some you know like the power PC processor then you know everybody would just have a kind of machine that they could 
just throw away so yeah anyway peeps uh, not gonna make this video any longer I think uh, you understand uh, what I tried to show and I hope you think this was kind of useful I think it was useful because somebody um, uh, posted a video the other day or posted a message under my video the other day saying that he also has a 6000 but he was not able to install uh, Windows 10 so I'm not sure if it has the same processor and if it's in fact the same model you know so it's always uh, different with these things so yeah that's it well that was it Windows 10 is now installed on this old laptop and in fact uh, it's not the perfect most perfect laptop to run Windows 10 on so you know I might go back to Windows 7 on this laptop but I will first try some little uh, adjustments and maybe in my next video uh, if I'm still gonna make a video about this laptop on Windows 10 how it runs and how it works and you know doing some little tasks such as uh, uh, I don't even know probably browsing the internet listening to some stations maybe running some nice ATC app or maybe use it uh, for a, sh uh, a Hampshire Hampshire radio uh, to broadcast with people uh, all over the world there are many things we can still do and thanks to the wonderful Windows Store we will be able to install all sorts of apps peeps if you think this video was cool of course you must give it a little like uh, subscribe to my channel if you did not already and of course share this information with your friends because many people out there with old laptops and uh, they will be really happy to know that they can run the latest operating system of Windows 10. Wow!